But here's a startling snapshot of the gender divide in America's classrooms. Just 15 percent, 15 percent of young women entering college today say they plan to major in a science or math field. That's according to the National Science Foundation. My next guest holds one of those rare degrees in engineering, and now she's thought of a creative way to change that statistic. From a very young age, Alice Brooks and her friend Bettina Chin have invented a line of, get this, wired dollhouse building kits. It's all designed to get girls excited about technology, and it is today's big idea. Alice joins me live here in the studio. What are we looking at here? This, it looks pretty cool. Uh, so this is a Ruminate dollhouse. And um, we've got a few things in here. We've got a working windmill. Uh, That's cool. We have an elevator over here. Yeah. Um, and what kids can do with this is they can design the whole house to whatever story they want to tell. And it's really up to them to decide the whole thing. And the thinking here is that if you can get young girls at an early age to design things like this, then they become more interested in, in science and math. Is it that simple? Well, that's what happened for me, and that's what happened for my partner, Bettina. Um, when we were younger, the toys that really let us build were what got us excited about engineering before we even knew what an engineer was. Yeah. For me, it was a saw. So, so how did you come up with this particular idea? I mean, was it just, uh, just this love of dollhouses that you always had, or was there more to it than that? So we originally just went to people's houses. We were babysitters for months at a time, and we watched girls with their favorite toys. And we saw that there were a lot of really cool dollhouses out there, but that we could make them even more exciting if we let girls wire them up with circuits and design everything that went inside. And, and all of this is included in the kit, or is it all sold separately like most toys? So in the starter kit, you can make uh, a room or two rooms with okay. it. And there's a motor in every kit. What, what sort of data have you seen that suggests that, that having girls engage with toys like this at a young age will draw them to science later? Well, there have been studies that show that in engineering classes in college, the retention is highest for kids who have played with toys that practice their spatial skills when they're younger. The, this, this is not part of the dollhouse. This is the private airplane. This is, a, this is a private airplane. And so your dollhouses come with like hangers now? You can build like <laughs> yeah. your own airplane hangar? It's all up to you. So we're not going to tell you or the girls what to make. You can make your dream house and your dream airplane. Is, is this a nature or nurture, nurture issue? And by that, by that, I mean, you know, there are a lot of folks out there who think, you know, you're either, you're either born a certain way, you're wired a certain way to enjoy, appreciate and excel at science or math, or you're not. It sounds as if you contend that maybe there's a little nurture involved as well. I think what we need to do is expose all kids, girls especially, to more options. So if they see these options, if they can do engineering when they're younger, yeah. if they're one that might end up going into in the future, the more that are exposed to it, the more likely we're going to have more girls doing engineering. All right, Alice, thank you so much. Again, it's called the Ruminate. A really cool dollhouse designed to get girls a little bit more interested in science and math. Thank you so much and good luck to you. Alice Brooks there. And do you have a big idea that's making a difference? You can tell us about it. All you have to do, there's the information right there on your screen. Email us, bigidea.msnbc at nbcuni.com. We'll be right back.